Here we go again with the Trademo Show with Matthias and Sebastian. Hello, everyone. How are you, Matthias? I'm fine, but yeah, the world is not so fine. Um, and we will discuss this in this show. Let's start with the Catalonia referendum. So over the weekend, we've seen huge yeah, escalation between the Spanish national police and the yeah Catalonian independency fighters, you could say. Um, yeah. yeah, what's your what's your assessment here, Matthias? Yeah, I think it's 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 very difficult to to have a assessment because I'm I'm not part of of the the country and mm. it's hard to me to. I've 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 lived in in Barcelona for a while, so maybe I'll take this one actually. So yeah, I've lived in Barcelona and I've lived in Gibraltar. And uh, Gibraltar, as you know, is independent from Spain. It's uh, it rather belongs to Great Britain. And I could feel every day when crossing the border between, or whenever I was crossing the border between Gibraltar and Spain, uh, you could really see that when it was the National Guard that was uh, checking at the border and not just the Andalusian um, police, that they were really tough on people. And mm -hmm. I can... So you could sense some hatred there, but uh, I can only imagine how it is when you try to become independent from them while yeah. you're actually also an economically interesting region of the country. So I, what I find interesting is that for, for me, it doesn't sound like uh, the Catalonian uh, population is seeing itself as like the rich region of Spain and that's why we want to go away, but they just they're just proud of their area kind of and for mm -hmm. the rest of spain it's probably m well of course they might not want to lose fc barcelona and so on but i don't think it's a it's like an economical thing for them for them it's more a matter of principle like what you have in in gibraltar they don't want another region that is close but not really part of it but used to be part of it things like that mm -hmm. um yeah I th I of course it's different it's still gibraltar and catalonia I think it's also an economical uh, effect on, on on Spain because Barcelona and the whole and the entire region is is very very good uh, in, yeah. in in making profits for Spain. As, uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. For the, so for them it might be economical, but f I think for the Catalonian people it's it's more some it's something deeper. Yeah. Okay, okay. But uh, yeah, that's how much I can say about it. But I, I, I listened to um, a BBC podcast this morning where they also interviewed a Danish um, politician about this that was there on behalf of the EU. And what they criticized simply is um, that you go with force against peaceful protesters. Uh, it's it's mm -hmm. not a clever strategy also. I think it will backfire and it will rather drive the independence further. If they had just let them be, come up with the referendum result would have been much better politically. Yeah, and so far it has weakened the Euro USD. Yeah. Um, uh, so here's our trade, um, still short. Um, so we are benefiting from this on this account. Um, yeah. Basically, the euro is losing here quite massively against the dollar, on mm. on this news or after this weekend now, following these these results there. Yeah, maybe we can reach our profit target at one seventeen this week. Yeah, could be. Be. We are, we're not too far away from it. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, basically what else happened over the weekend? Well, first something positive, uh, Bitcoin went up further. So for, for all the cryptocurrency investors, this is positive. We've been at 4,400 now. Um, gold, not so much. Gold is continuing its downtrend. Uh, we had yeah. 1,272 now, probably soon closing the gap to 1,260. That's uh, it, it looks it doesn't look good for gold here. Yeah, I thought, yes, it's also a really extended decline here. So I'm, I'm not sure if it's not due for some kind of upward correction after this gap close here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so tricky tricky situation if you should close your trade here if you're long like we are on this account or not um, yeah I think we will leave it um, just as a hedge for all other positions that we have and the other positions they are still keeping it up yeah that's a good idea um, yeah but then to some other news that uh, had affected you when you heard about it uh, deeply yeah. I could I could hear it in your voice 
Yeah, uh, so we had a, a attack, but it was not a terroristic attack. So there were a maniac in, in Las Vegas, and yeah, he shoot at the uh, yeah audience of a concert in in Las Vegas. And right now are more than fifty people dead and more than two hundred wounded. Um, yeah, and it could be likely happen that we have maybe one hundred dead people. Yeah, um, yeah, that's that's really sad and bad. It's definitely, it's definitely really sad. Um, in this show, we are focused on the stock market. So the question is, how does it affect the stock market? It could um, kind of affect this recent rally that we've seen in the American stock market, but mm -hmm. it is also not something that causes a crash. So people yes. here, when when one maniac does something, it doesn't basically make everyone believe that there will be more of this going on or that um, there will be yeah, some kind of bad impact on the mm -hmm. economy. Um, that's probably not the case here. So there's no reason why the stock market should crash from this. Yeah, I think it, it would make a difference if it's not a maniac, uh, but it maybe it, it's not a domestic maniac, but maybe as an, an Islamic attack. So then yeah. I think it would be a big Big, a huge difference, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we will see more more impact in the financial markets, yeah. but not in this case. Exactly. Okay. Well, more on this probably tomorrow. Yeah. As okay. these events unfold. Um, one one last thing here: the dollar yen. It's is um, it's also risk off. So basically, the dollar is gaining against the yen, and that's also very good for this trade that we have started here um, last week. Okay, but we'll we'll see if this one reaches its profit target as well next week. Okay, yeah. Or uh, later this week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see you. Okay, see you guys.